I did a show with some friends at the Village Pump Folk Festival a couple of years ago, and um, Donald Shaw, who is the, the musical director of, of Celtic Connections, came backstage afterwards and suggested I put something together specifically for a show with Bela Fleck. And, uh, that came at a pretty good time because Ed Boyd, who uh, I've done bits and pieces with over the years, he was around, and um, a fiddle player who I'd played with years and years ago, Gina Griffin, who'd been living in France for a long time, she'd moved back to the area. Rex Preston, fantastic mandolin player who I've known since, uh, since he was a teenager from a thing called Sore Fingers, bluegrass camps, music camps. Um, so he'd moved to Bath. Josh Clark, who I also work with regularly, he was around, so it was a, it was a great, great time for that to come about. Originally, it was just as a, a one-off show in Glasgow at Celtic Connections. We put so much work into that, it seemed a shame to, to call it a day there. Every, every member of the band is, is from a pretty different musical background. I started off with bluegrass music and well in fact I started off just being interested in the banjo and then discovering that was associated to bluegrass music. Ed, the guitarist, he's n known very well in traditional Irish music. He plays with a band called Fluke, or he used to play with a band called Fluke and Michael McGoldrick and Cara Dillon and stuff like that. Uh, Gina's, I would say, is more of a jazz, jazz player. Rex, similar to me, he's more bluegrass and Josh, a percussionist. He's, uh, are rocky, so so you've got a, a real mix of of influences that, that that go together. But I would say, at first listen, the, the things that would hit you in the face first are the, the the bluegrass and the Celtic influences. The kind of combination of those two things. Well, you look at the the instrumentation, and it's a string band, really, with percussion. I think it's quite, quite an interesting take on it. Uh, I think Leon wanted to start something that, um, th yeah, that used his bluegrass and jazz background and knowledge and skills with myself and Josh with his uh, array of different percussion instruments, and. Um, yeah, and then a rather quirky take on a, a bluegrass band because, you know, I've never heard a fiddle player like Gina or a banjo player like Leon or a mandolin player like Rex. Quite like them, I think they they have all the um, elements of, of your, your normal bluegrass player, but then they have s something else, more aware of other musics possibly, not not doing any other bluegrass musicians down, but they, you know, their breadth of musical knowledge is amazing. I love this band, I love the people in it, and for me it's just as exciting watching everybody else create fantastic things. It's going to be very eclectic, there's going to be lots of different sounds on there, but we've played so much together that I hope that it's five individuals very much coming together of, of, of all of our personalities. A lot of admiration for Leon, for Ed, for Rex and for Josh as musicians, I have to say. But I think they're, they're all marvellous. This album is a coming together of all our different styles. But also I think we have a very good idea about the, the way that we create our music. It's brilliant really, I mean it's very, I'd like to think it's quite a different approach. Mm -hmm. 